Hi, it's Glassboxed here and today we are going to talk about the background script. We're going to talk about what the background script is and how you can use it. So we are going to jump straight into this. To understand what the background script is, we need to quickly recap uh, this number of scenarios here and the format that it is written in. So at the moment we have a feature and we have three different scenarios, each of which do different things, but are very similar. For instance, the first one is simply checking that the Java Cucumber tutorial page is up and available. And the same thing is happening for the web driver as well as the Git tutorial pages. And we are doing this in three different scenarios. Now we have talked about things such as the scenario outline and data tables which can allow us to reduce duplication amongst scenarios which are very common. But there are other things we can employ as well and one of those things is the background script. So before we actually have a look at the background script let's quickly run this just to make sure that this actually works. Okay, looks like it worked without any issues. So there were a total of three scenarios and nine steps. Great. Now, let's think about this. Let's, let's look at these three scenarios. Other than the fact that we know that the parameter that we send in is very similar, so we can effectively get rid of these two scenarios and we can just use something like a scenario outline to change the value that we pass in as a parameter and then we can reduce the number of scenarios in this file i.e we can just remove these two but let's just say that for some reason whatever that reason may be this scenario slightly change so let's say something like this scenario now needs to contain another then step saying something like And let's say something similar for the other two steps, but actually say something different. Now, if you look at these three scenarios, the number of similarities between them has reduced simply because we've introduced another step into each of the scenarios and each of the steps are actually very different. They seem to be doing something very similar. They seem to be checking to see the positioning of the title and for whatever reason one should be on the lower, one should be on the upper and one should be in the middle section of the page. Now again we can parameterize this but the point that I'm trying to get across to you is that when you have a number of scenarios in a feature file, there is a good chance that they will be similar, but there is also a good chance that other things may change. Let's just say something like this scenario now has another step. So this scenario now has that step and let's just say that these two scenarios do not have that step. Now if you want to use something like a scenario outline for this particular scenario you will not be able to mirror these two scenarios in this one simply because this scenario contains more steps i.e. this scenario doesn't have that step it doesn't have that final uppercase lettering step. So you cannot check this case against this Java web driver or this git page because these scenarios are not designed to have that step. So yes, we can use things like data tables, things like scenario outline to reduce the number of scenarios you need to write, but there will be times when you cannot simply do that. You cannot use that method anymore because the steps are so different that 
the scenarios are just not compatible anymore. Now, when such a thing happens, you can use a slightly different method, and this method is called the background method. The background method is almost like a hook that Cucumber provides. The background script is something that we can use to tell Cucumber to run a prerequisite of steps before running each of the scenarios. So what does that mean? That means we can actually tell Cucumber that for any given scenario you have in this feature file, run a very subset of test steps that I tell you to run. And we can define these steps in the background section of a feature file. So what does this actually look like? To write a background, you simply say background and this keyword must be somewhere in your feature file and it should preferably be just under the feature keyword and above all scenarios for reading purposes anyway. And I've just typed in colon and enter and notice that the background has actually changed into keyword. And what I'm going to do is I can see that for each of these scenarios, there is one step that is universally common. Now, it should be obvious to you. It is the first step, this given step. So this given step is always exactly the same. So we can actually move this out into the background script and we can completely remove the step from the scenario. So what is actually happening here? So before I do anything, let me just format this. Right. The background script is almost like saying a prerequisite section for the feature file. When each of these scenarios run, previously what happened was the scenarios would run from a very linear perspective, i.e. from the top of the feature file all the way down to the bottom. In other words, this scenario ran first, this one was second, and then this one was third. When we use the background script, what this is basically telling Cucumber is that for each of these scenarios, when they run, run the background script first. So what that means is when this scenario runs, and this scenario will be the first thing that runs, it will first run the background script and then the scenario. It will then run this scenario, but it will run the background script for it first. And then finally, it'll do the same thing for the last scenario. It will run the background and then the scenario. So in simple terms, when you provide a background script, in a feature file, the background script will always run for any given scenario that you have in that feature file. Now let's take this a little bit further. We did add in these two steps just as a sake of explaining the concept. So we are going to remove them and we're going to do the same here. And now, if you remember when we discussed the keyword, this keyword is only for aesthetic and reading purposes. It doesn't actually serve a function. It doesn't actually do anything, not really. So in our step definition, we discussed this very briefly. When we use keywords such as this, these keywords, i.e. when, then, they don't actually play a strong role when it comes to matching a test step to a step definition. So what that means is we can change these words if we want to. So at the moment, when you read this feature file, we say background, given I navigate to the test room, and then scenario when, and then then. Ideally, you don't want to start off with the when, you actually want to start off with a given. So we can actually do that. We can just say given, I navigate to Java Cucumber to draw page, then the page title should be visible. As I said, this keyword is not used as part of the matching process when we try and match a test step to a step definition. So we can change all of these to a given. And now this reads a lot better than it did about three or four seconds ago. So just to prove that we haven't broken anything and just to prove that this step always runs before any scenario runs, we will quickly format this and save it. And let's run it and see what happens. And there you have it. So 
if we look through these logs, we can see that the background script actually ran for each of the scenarios, i.e. this background followed by the scenario, background followed by the scenario, and finally, again, a third time, background followed by the scenario. So the background script is actually very powerful because it allows us to reduce the number of steps you need to write in a given scenario and this helps us to identify a common set of test steps that you would need to write for the initial scenario kickoff for each given scenario. The background script as you can already see also helps us to condense and write very specific scenarios as well i.e. navigating to the test room shouldn't strictly be part of this test because this test is checking for something very specific. So if we can remove the abstract noise from any given scenario, this helps as well. So the background script actually has multiple applications which you can use as part of your feature files. And that's it for this video folks, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks ever so much for watching my video as I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with my latest videos and kindly like and share my videos as this is one of the best ways for me to grow my ever evolving channel. If you have any ideas or suggestions for this video series then let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, ciao.